Hey everyone, my name is Dan Sochin, producer here at United Front Games, and today I'm going to take you through a full walkthrough of Sleeping Dogs' mission called Mrs. Chu's Revenge. Sleeping Dogs is an action-packed open-world game where you play as Wei Shen, an undercover cop who fights, shoots, and races his way through the Hong Kong underworld to take down the triads from the inside. I know it's no consolation, but I got a look at one of the gunmen from the wedding. Now I will find him. And I'll make him tell me who's responsible. Ricky, it's Way. Shit, Way. How you holding up? I got a lot of loose ends to clean up. I need an outsider for a couple things. You got Johnny Ratface's number? Johnny Ratface? Man, stay away from that lunatic. You give him a job, you're gonna have to steam clean your conscience when he's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know all about him. He's my man. I guess you know what you're doing. This mission starts off with a phone tracing minigame so that you can find a man called Johnny Ratface and bring him back to Mrs. Chu. Way's police connections allow him to use triangulating software to find Johnny. The goal for this part of the minigame is to drive to the point that's indicated on your PDA in the middle of the triangle. Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. A friend sent me to you. Works with a lot of movie stars, know what I mean? So Press up and down to find the area of Hong Kong Island that has the strongest signal strength and then hold down the A button. Press the X button to switch between the different towers. You'll notice that each of them show unique blips. What you're looking for is a blip that's common to all three of the towers. What's the guy's name? His name is, uh... Got you, fucker. Now that we know where Johnny is, it's time to get there and do what Wei does best. Bust open some heads. Baby, I promise. Are you insane? Think of all the money we'll make. This is our future, you and me. Fuck you, asshole. I'm not taking off my clothes for you or anyone else. In Sleeping Dogs, the combat system is one of the key elements. We have tried to make it a brutal, martial arts inspired experience in which we have full control over the fights. Wei can counter, grapple, and use devastating combos on his enemies. He can use almost anything in the environment to take down his foes with style. We work with MMA champion Georges St. Pierre to make sure the combat is as authentic as possible. Fights often start as hand-to-hand -hand combat, but escalate as some enemies try to unlevel the playing field and bring a weapon, in this case a knife. Sleeping Dog weapons are treated like a power-up, so they're only temporary. Once it's used up, Wei throws it away. It's important for us to create a game where the action is always changing to keep you, the player, off balance. We're now switching seamlessly from a hand-to-hand -hand combat mission to a shooting mission, and we're starting this off by disarming this thug and getting Wei a gun. The core of our shooting system is what we like to call aggressive cover. Cover isn't something you hide behind, it's something to vault over to gain an advantage on your enemies. You don't just sit back and wait, you take the fight to the bad guys. Go. 
When you vault, you trigger slow-mo, and for each successful headshot, the slow-mo extends. Plan your gunfights accordingly and you can take out hordes of enemy in cinematic style. Keep an eye out for explosive items in the environment, as they're useful to take out multiple enemies at the same time. Like in a good action film, we strive to seamlessly transition between the different aspects of gameplay, in this case, a chase sequence. While driving, we give the player full control of both their vehicle and their aiming reticle at the same time. This allows you to catch up to an enemy, shoot out his tires, and then speed away to the next target. When Wei pulls out his gun and aims while driving, we give the player a slow-mo advantage so he can temporarily focus on shooting. While driving, there's multiple ways to take out your enemies. Shoot out the tires, kill the driver and watch the car careen off into incoming traffic, ram the car to disable it, or just kill everyone. To make the player feel like a real action hero, we added a feature called Action Hijack, which allows Wei to jump from one vehicle onto another. It also helps keep driving sections exciting and fresh. Don't like this vehicle? No problem, pick a new one on the go. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and stay tuned for more action-packed content. Tell me their names, so we can go see them right now. Look, what are the odds they're gonna even admit they even know you. Fuck you, I'm not gonna tell you nothing! Well, you don't have to. Someone else will ask the question. Well, fuck him too! Rat face. Meet Mrs. Chu. Winston's mother. Osama! I don't know what this guy told you! Fuck! I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy old bitch! Please! Wait! 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 Don't leave me here! She's fucking crazy! Okay, okay! I'll tell you anything you want to know! Just please, don't! <laughs> ah! 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 Ah!